Uh, you got challenges that you're going to run across. So the programs that I developed are builders. Builders is builders, rebuilding families and communities as we rebuild ourselves. So the program is literally what the title says. I take the participant through a rebuild, a mental rebuild. You have to militarize your mind. You have to militarize your mind and you have to be able to magnetize things. You have to be able to draw things to your mind that you want. And the only way you do that is by saying no. If you don't know how to say no, you never have success. This is something my mother told me I never knew. She told me this. I learned this. I just learned this since I've been released. And I guess it's why I'm so, I don't know, confrontational. We'll say confrontational for lack of a better word. Because hmm. in school, I was a kid. I don't like what the teacher doing. I leave school. We talking about third grade. I get my coat. I'm leaving. I don't like this. I'm done. I was cutting school. So I'm leaving. I'm, I'm done. I don't have, I can't, you can't make me do nothing. I'm done. <laughs> So my mother told me when she was young, because she was such a pushover, she didn't want us. She taught me about, she taught us how to say no. I didn't know this. So think about this. This is something she purposely put time towards when we were young on how to tell, no, I ain't doing that. I'm not going. Now, unfortunately, because I didn't have any skill, any purpose, that no turned into this rebellious behavior that led to something bad. But to say a no ain't bad. I will reject something in a second. And I don't care how you feel about it. Mm. Your feelings can be heard on it. No, I ain't going. We ain't doing no. Nope. It's over with. So that is a skill that is necessary because if you don't have it, like about you will be blown with every win a doctor. Mm-hmm. So builder teaches you how to from the inside out, from the inside out, to start getting those skills. Like Stuart J. Abline said, start getting those skills. So then you can do what you actually want to do. Because like I say, you saying that I don't like this is you attesting to, this is not what you want to be doing. People don't know that. Your complaints, when you hear somebody complaining, they're complaining and the gap is the skill and the action. Oh, I hate my husband. I hate my marriage. I hate my life. I want to do this. I hate my job. You're attesting that you're bigger than this, that you do want to move on. That's Mm -hmm. a good thing. The the thing that's got, that's what builders get. You get a skill and the action. How do I get age? What age do you start at with builders? Builders right now is for adults. Builders okay. right now is for adults. I'm working on a juvenile program based around reading. I've like blended a juvenile program. So I do have a juvenile like template, for like a, a prototype, like a pilot program. But right now it's based on adults. It's not just a prison program. This is for anybody that wants to get a new output. I don't mm-hmm. care if you want to lose weight. I don't care if you want to stop smoking. Because it's all about skill and will. And it's about skill. If you get the skills, then you can accomplish your will. Because your complaint, you saying this ain't good enough. Because there's a lot of people that how many people you know smoke cigarettes? They ain't trying to smoke, they ain't trying to stop. Mm-hmm. How many people overweight? They don't care nothing about you being overweight. They don't care about the diabetes. They don't care nothing about it. they cut the leg off. They don't care. They don't keep on eating pork chops. Like you say, yeah. you know what they talk about? Won't he do it? They waiting on them to come and won't he do it? God wants to be skinny here, make me skinny. Yeah. So you can't even deal with that. That's the other thing. You gotta know when you're dealing with a loser. Just give mm-hmm. up on that. Complainers, you can work with. Because the complainer is telling you, I don't like this. I just don't have a style to run with. So Builders gives you a style to run with. It deals with the cognitive. It deals with, if you can label things, you can control it. Okay. When I found out about executive functioning skills and frustration tolerance and decomposing problems and critical thinking and what that really is in those processes, now it's like, oh, wow, I can do that. It's like when I found out about what trauma does. And I said, oh, that's my problem. Because once you can put a label on it, then what I can do is I can go look for the cure. See, if I don't know what's wrong with me. We're gonna do a part, we're gonna do a part two of this, man. But we we gonna go and wrap yeah, it we up. Now. Yeah, yeah. And uh what 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 the books for bruises? What about that? Well, books for bruises, bald books of bruises deals with improved literacy, will improve vocabulary, it will improve imagination, it improves empathy. All those things are evidence-based to improve behavior uh modification. So you're gonna get improved behavior in children, behavior in adults when you start reading more through reading, specific reading. Like you asked me those five books. You take those five books right there and read them for the rest of your life. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll be fine. The reason why you'll be fine is it will. you'll be led to the right path. Mm-hmm. You'll be led to the right path. You'll be led to how to fix your finances, how to fix your relationships, how to be a better mother. How to. Be, you'll be led to that. You don't have to read all that. If you just read those, because it deals with identity. 
and it deals with you being able to label what's wrong with you and improving your vocabulary. They had that, they had those skills. Think this is from Stuart Dabon. This ain't me, but it's a great insight. Why do we say the terrible twos? Because two year olds begin to pull up on stuff, begin to walk, so they explore. So they're not just in the little little cradles no more, and they don't have words. They don't have skills yet to communicate. So they're terrible. They're always making a mess, temper tantrums. What about when you're 32 and you're still using the skills of a two-year-old to communicate because you don't have the vocabulary? Because you're walking around, you grown, everything happened. Your mama's sick. You cuss your sister out, slam the phone down, break the window in the car and take off, and you're gone for two days. Mm-hmm. And they say, your brother a loser. He ain't a loser. He love his mom. He want to be able to do something. He don't have a skill to be able to step up into that place where he want to to be able to covet the family and lead because he don't know what to say. Right. He don't know how to respond. Right. That's why wow. he do all that because he don't have the skill. Right. The emotion showing he got the love. He got he understand the magnitude of it. You know, it's like to you, he got an earache. He don't know how to say he got an earache, so he just acting a fool. Yeah. Got to get some attention to make the pain go away. Pain hurt. Yeah. He's doing, Thirty-two and doing that though, that's a problem. But it's the same thing. So, yeah. So, we, I don't know. Okay. We live on that. I enjoyed it, y'all. Man, appreciate it. I enjoyed you too, man. My co host, yeah. Miss Horsley, did a great job, man. Uh, like I said, yeah. we're going to come back eventually and do a part two of this and a part three, maybe. And what? I, I got to talk about Batman. I didn't get a chance to talk about We got to come back and talk about Batman. I know. I know. I know. I might flip it and let Miss Horsley be the co host. I know you be the co host. Miss Horsley might be the guest. I don't know. We oh, might be that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do that and see what happens, man. But, you know, our time is up. Another episode of um, Elite Psyche. And look, man, I'm glad whoever's watching this, make sure you subscribe and hit the all button and do all that stuff that they talk about. So when the new podcast or the new show, the big, big show comes out, then you'll get notified for it. So to then. All right. All right. Talk to y'all later. All right. Make sure that you like and subscribe and and hit the all button and all that kind of stuff because we're going to have a lot of good interviews uh, on this podcast.